So most of the audio engineering jokes, or as some people call them, plugins, are manufactured by big companies who are really profit hungry. For instance, companies like, I'm not going to say names because that might get me in trouble. Luckily, there are also different plugin builders. For instance, Air Windows. And that's what I want to talk about today. Air windows sounds so horrible that even a dog doesn't want to hear it, as you can see in this logo. But without joking, Air Windows is being run by Chris. This is Chris, um, and he programs plugins. The interesting thing is, he has made, well, a lot of plugins. 296 plugins. He programs them by himself, he publishes it by himself on airwindows.com. He makes his own YouTube videos with tutorials. Every single plugin has such a video like, well, this one is 17 minutes, but some of those have like 30, 45 minutes videos of him demoing his own plugins. And he gives away almost all of his plugins for free. There's also a, a like bundles where you need to pay for it. But the one that I'm going to check out today is the two tape five. And this one, you can just click on this thing like poof and you're downloading it. So the 2Tape 5 is, is aimed at being the highest quality Air Windows analog tape emulation. And if we read through the text, there's a lot of story about him and how he designed the plugin. It's better than Iron Oxide, that's a different plugin of him. He's constantly relating to different plugins. So if you're new to the game, you might need to catch up on some things. So I'm not going to walk through his website. I'm not going to check the video. Well, I, I did watch the whole video, by the way, but I'm not going to do that in here. You can check that out. Your yourself on airwindows.com. I'm going to test the plugin with Sandstorm by Darude, as always. And this is it. Yeah, you guys were maybe expecting a flashy cool interface. No, just a few sliders. The most basic interface there is. All the Airwindows plugins have this interface, just sliders. It isn't always a good thing, by the way. That isn't always a good thing but plugin user interfaces are something that i'm very specific about and is maybe a good subject for a different video if you want to see it comment that below so we've got six sliders with all their own name louder softer fatter flutter output and a dry wet so i really recommend uh, uh watching his videos and making some notes because otherwise you would look like me in snake oil videos so louder is actually your input gain if i can Call it like this, I think Chris will be cringing if he's watching. Softer is something with the high end, feather is something with the low end, flutter is, well, flutter, output is output gain. So let's let's first bypass this thing and activate it while, while it's running. very close to a tape machine like that low end but it's mo most of all the, the low of a tape machine I i'm missing a bit of like if i'm driving to, to a tape machine mine also gives some high sparkle <laughs> So as he stated in his video, software, it's not an EQ. It's far from an EQ actually, it's its quite the opposite. When I open the slider, I get the feeling that I need to clean the tape heads again. But that, that could be nice as an effect. Feather is something with low. And you need to watch the game for that. That 
sounds very good actually. Flutter. Yeah, it's like more crackling than uh, something else. Again, super simple. He is known for very simple uh, interfaces and, and you know not a lot of sliders. Very cool and actually looks are deceiving with this plugin because this sounds really like a tape machine. It really it feels like analog. The sound feels like analog. So is Air Windows snake oil? Absolutely not, but you could expect it. This guy is putting a lot of hours in his work. You can you can hear this in the end result. There is one thing, however, which could be better, and that is the user interface. I think you could build a way better user interface on this algorithm with these sliders than he is doing, or, well, he is not doing because this is a default, uh, like, development interface. But yeah, I think that will boost sales a lot, but then again, you don't have to buy them, it's donationware. So if you like the plugins, which I do, you can donate. Right now I'm also going to pledge to his Patreon campaign until I get bored of it. I would recommend you guys also checking out Air Windows. I will link it below, of course, if, if I don't forget it. Really, if you use his plugins, also, uh, uh, you know, donate to him because that's the fairest thing to do. I mean, it can't all be free in the world. And with that being said, I want to end this video over here. So thanks a lot for watching this one. Uh, we were talking about Patreon. I also have my own campaign. You can check it out over here. You can also support me in different ways. For instance, subscribing, liking, commenting, disliking, but you have to do this, this twice. So disliking or watching another video. Thanks a lot for watching this one. I'll see you guys again in the next one. Bye bye.